outside getting ready for our picnic. Got our picnic basket, and uh, why not bring along something special and refreshing, something light to drink? Forget the soda. Why not brew up some fresh, wonderful iced tea? And Melissa's here from Fava Tea Company, and uh, oh boy, you brought along some fun stuff today. We did, and totally different than what we've talked about in the past. We've talked about our, our biascas, we've talked about these pitchers, but the teas that I wanted to talk about today just beautiful. I've never beautiful, seen beautiful. such pretty mm -hmm. teas. First of all, for people who don't know, um, the tea at the grocery store that comes in the bag is is okay, but boy, if you've never tried the real deal, the loose teas, um, you're really missing a lot. You really are, yeah. It, lowest, The stuff in the grocery store is really the lowest quality possible. It's ground up, it's meant to be very convenient in a little bag. So I'm making it my life's mission to show how convenient loose tea can be and good for you. And it's it's just amazing. Once you taste it, you won't miss the soda. You know, we're all trying to be a little more healthy. Um, and I do think when you're going on a picnic, you know, if you're going to go all out, why not do something different or fun to drink? Exactly. Or, you know, you're having people over um, on your porch or your deck. Serve one of these amazing teas and people will go crazy. Exactly. You know? I, I call this picture in and of itself like the life of the party. It so is. If, you, if you want to be the one who everybody's flocking to you and wondering what you have going on there, this is the picture to go with. All of the tea is loose in the side. So you just so drop drop this right. beautiful, look at this tea with flowers in it. What kind of tea is this? This one is called uh, Panda Paradise. Okay. What makes this one so unique is there's no actual tea in it per se. The base is bamboo. Wow. Yeah, bamboo, wow. flowers. Um, there's a little bit of hibiscus in there. Hibiscus is really what gives everything such a beautiful color. Okay. And then that one, for example, has red peppercorns in too. I see those. Isn't so it cool? Spice. So the dry right. in this side, the water um, in this side, you can either do this outside in the sun or exactly. in the refrigerator. Exactly, in the fridge. And that's how we had done all of these last night to prepare for the show today. But isn't that just so cool? Unbelievable. Another idea too too, is if you've brewed your tea, take that part out and throw mint sprigs in there. Mm. Throw orange, apple, whatever you want to so do. So brew it twice? Pretty it up. Yeah, yeah. and or twice brew it. You right. know, yeah. Fresh fruit. You can yeah, throw fresh I fruit in there that. and you don't have to worry about any of that coming through. Enough talk. I have to take a little sip of this. we got to try this one. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Yeah. Oh, wow. Take some too. How much for a pitcher or something like that? This one is 29 Wow. Great gift for somebody who likes mm -hmm. tea. and Absolutely. And who would have mm. thought that bamboo mm. would taste so mm. good? It's nice and light, and it is just very, very refreshing. Um, and uh, if you're trying to kick the soda habit, go go to this tea thing. All right. Zero calories. Yeah, you know, people do get freaked out about the whole loose tea. How do Absolutely. I deal with it? There's little, you sell little individual bags where you can put the tea we in. We do. We do. Here's yeah. another pitcher. Here's another pitcher. And we featured this one in the past. Um, this one, you just put all the loose tea in there, fill this up with water. The beauty of this one is... The filter is right in the top. So just like we had with that, you just go ahead and pour. I'm mixing teas here, which I said I wasn't going to do. That's okay. But yeah. Look at the color of that one. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely and look, I mean, beautiful. you see everything that's in there, all of it gets caught up in the top, so nothing comes through in the glass. That is, that's awesome. And again, I did the loose tea here. Look at those big pieces of hibiscus flour. Mm. Isn't that incredible? There's the I green tea, that. that's the base. It, isn't it funny? I think we need to work on mm. smell-o-vision. Yeah, Don't no you? kidding, like, I know. Scratch the we screen. We do, I'll get mm -hmm. right on that. Yeah. All right, and finally, our last tea. Our last one is raspberry rose, Ooh. and this one too. And isn't this cool? All, obviously, the color difference between but you have your tea that's settled in the bottom. The barrel is the infuser, but isn't that gorgeous? If you're going out on a picnic and you wanna have something that's completely different, what about a raspberry rose tea? Mm. Raspberries are in season right now, so all you'd have to do is take this middle portion, this barrel out, go ahead and take that out. You could just rinse all of that out of there, throw some fresh raspberries in there, how cool would pretty, that be for a picnic? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah. Love Wouldn't it. Wouldn't that be great? How many teas uh, approximately do you guys carry there? Uh, approximately in the store, we have about 317. Wow. Just a few. Yeah, just, just a, a couple. Few. Yeah, we and don't really like to go overboard at all. All different kinds. I'm, I'm wanting to taste this one. Mm, I love that. Isn't that that is absolutely delicious. Yeah. Thanks so much, Melissa. Oh, thank and you, And Melissa Amy. is the tea expert. Uh, head into fava tea, from iced tea to hot tea, and always got samples out that people can taste and smell and Seven all that kind of stuff. Seven different samples yeah. every day. We feel the best way for you to find out which 
is the tea that you like is to try it. Mm. This doesn't mm -hmm. eat sugar or anything. It's it just, doesn't. Just delicious. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching Yum. your weight and your calories, it's the way to go. All right.